keep struggling at climbing in league? Out of field trolls keep ruining your games. Start believing that ADC role is a joke. Guess what, you've come to the right place. Hello everybody, my name is Winden, and in today's video I will show you the best AD carries to pick and climb during preseason. I wasn't joking when I said ADC role feels like a joke these days. It is not even viable to pick weak early AD carry and try scale and play around late game these days. A lot of games tend to end around 20 minute mark. With deadly assassins, aggressive jungle picks and all-in supports around like Nautilus and Leona, most of AD carries, especially in low elo, will fit 4 out of 5 games asking yourself why do you even play AD carry. So let's break down what AD carries are not only playable, but actually broken in terms of winning games at the moment. Spoiler, I will also mention some AD carries you should probably avoid playing at the moment. So the first AD carry you should look for playing these days is Ash. Some of you guys might be surprised, but Ash feels super good these days, especially in solo queue. She has the second highest win rate at the moment according to OPGG and one of the most successful AD carry at diamond tier and below. Ash is a queen when it comes to punishing enemy AD carries these days. Her ultimate and slow makes her relatively safe AD carry to play even though she has no real escape tools. Ash is a straight counter pick to most popular AD carries these days like Kaylin, Misfortune, Jin and many others. She has sweet lane in phase once again and she is kinda of flexible these days when it comes down for her build. If you face squishy champions just go for Stormraiser for additional CC that is so OP these days. You can always choose a standard Borg Runen build if you face a lot of tanks that it scales awesome into late game. Your E ability will help you survive early game easier and control area with better vision during late game. And of course your ultimate that can catch people off guard, securing easy games. The lower your rank, the stronger this champion value is. So if you keep losing your lane in phase, Ash is your choice for preseason. So let's move straight to the next AD carry that is relatively strong these days. It is Xaya. This might sound obvious, but most of you guys that don't really track pro players and master tier AD carries and higher, Xyre remains safe pick for many AD carries these days, granting fine laning phase and shining bright in a mid to late game. Yes, she is not the lane bully and she can be a hard champion choice for lower elo players, but the best kiters out there will be able to carry almost any game using her. Lane bully against you and your main ADC in ban? Go for Xaya. A lot of assassins in your game? Go for Xaya. Just wanna start climbing consistently, winning more games in general regardless of your elo? Go for Xaya. She's kinda a hot pick for any unsure situation and feels stronger than her similar to value sister Kaisa these days. Alright, let's actually move to our top spot, the queen of solo queue, mostly in any elo out there. The highest win rate AD carry at the moment, Misfortune. Believe me or not, but major part of high elo and competitive players play mostly Misfortune these days, getting their free elo with every game. Misfortune is about lane dominance. I don't even need to tell you how punishing her Q can be, smashing half of enemy HP bar in a single ability. Her kit has everything you need to play any game versus any setup. Your Q will win you any lane. W will improve your positioning in teamfights and add additional DPS in the mid to late game. Your E is an awesome area slow and your ultimate is just a delete enemy team button as a cherry on top. Misfortune one of the strongest ADC in the game when it comes to 2v2 outlanes during laning phase, especially if you already have 3 Doran blades on you. Do not forget to abuse 2-3 to three Doran blades every game with her. You will slow your build definitely, but it is actually the meta these days. The amount of stats and sustain you gain is insane. You cannot be beaten 1v1 or 2v2 or even 2v3 with enemy jungler. Although it is not the best choice for most AD carries out there, but Misfortune is probably the queen at using this build as it allows her using these stats at the max efficiency compared to all other AD carries. Continue being a lane bully, even if you fall a bit behind after unlucky start. 
So if you don't know what AD carry to play these days, or just new to ADC role, or just get out of field as an AD carry, it is all misfortune. Play this girl 24-7 and you will climb your rank in no time. Alright, we already discussed the best AD carries to play at the moment. Let's actually notice some bad choices going for these days, and probably the ones you should avoid playing if you aim only for victories. And we will start firstly with Ezreal. Kleptomancy was always a rune choice for Ezreal, but with recent patches when it was removed from the game and the Conqueror got nerfed hard for ranges on top, Ezreal is probably one of the most questionable AD carry to play these days. Especially for players below Diamond Elo. Trust me, Free Flash E ability is not worth sacrificing playing Ezreal over other strong champions like Misfortune, Jin or Jinx and the others. So the second debate pick that really became popular these days is actually Caitlyn. Hear me out, if you're below Diamond Elo, don't ever pick this champ in your games. As a Kate main, I can assure you, it's a trap! She is double hard compared to any other AD carries in the game when it comes down to using her kit properly. You need to be god precise with your actions, playing mostly around trap mechanics and using advanced combos. It is easy to throw lane in face and become useless at first minutes and no amount of Doran blades will save you. She is just a harder choice with a higher demands, so if you really aim for consistency in your games, Kate is not the AD gear you should abuse these days. And for the last will be Senna, new marksman support that can win any lane but cannot win any game by herself. She has awesome kit, range and damage, but she is not a real carry in a team fights. Her DPS is not consistent, her passive makes position and double hard for Kaiden in a long team fights. Again, she is a strong choice to win any bot lane setup, but she is not the champion that win team fights by herself. That is why she is becoming more and more support choice and less AD carry pick for challenger tier players these days. That is it for today's video guys, and probably everything you need to know to make your climb easy and enjoyable for AD carry role these days. If you like this video, hit that like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel, that really helps believe it or not. Do not forget to check out my stream on Twitch, if you want to improve your ARDC skills or just want a bit of chill time, I have a consistent schedule and stream almost every single day. And as always I got a question for you guys. What is your AD carry pick to go for these days and why? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.